Shake the Dust works in the nine different regions of the country. In each of those regions, we've placed a poet coach and a shadow working with that poet coach in an educational institution. So that's a school or a youth group or anything along those lines where we can access young people. Community school in the space right now. Yeah. Then we have Samuel Cody, special sports school. Yeah. My goodness. That's absolutely amazing. Wow. The poet coach and a shadow work in conjunction with a teacher liaison and work with a team of young people and bring them forward to a regional final. In that regional final, five different teams from within that region came together to present the work that they've been developing with their poet coach. Any more? Any other suggestions? Lighting, thank you. Yeah, if you go there, go All the disrespectful bullies expecting respect. The bullied sitting sadly, beginning to reflect. How many voices saying? That's the sound of the police! <laughs> the important thing I think for young people learning poetry is finding out how they can express themselves, how they can be expressive through their words and through their actions, and I think that helps them to gain confidence and it helps them to interact better with other people in the in the broader world as well. So the energy in me right now is kind of like, Whoa, I want to see what's going to happen in Southampton representing today. From each of those regional finals, a highest scoring team was determined. Thank you very much indeed. And those are the teams who are representing their regions here for this national final weekend. South Bank. On the first day everyone arrives, everyone gets here, we have our welcomes, we have our first range of events and then everyone goes home with that adrenaline and that excitement, ready for the next day, Friday, which is where we bring everyone together for a series of workshops. People in your class at school would not get up and talk in front of everybody, and you're on a stage in front of 900 people. These that have just made my job easier, and I'm hard on them, they, they take it. 
<laughs> they take it. I am hard and I do push, but it's because they are so amazing. They produce the most amazing writers and they make it exciting. And I'm really happy, not just about them being in the slam, but what we can do afterwards with them as well. To me, this is just the beginning of their poetic and performance journey. And I think they're going to make amazing performers and ambassadors for poetry. This beat, this beat, learning all the time about poetry really like mm. everyone's every poet is different and all the different styles you know we just influence each other inspired yeah. by each other all the time it's it gets you pumped for poetry yeah because you, 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 like usually i don't meet these people so i kind of feel lonely yeah everyone thinks poetry is all people Face in my skin. She's wearing in my face. I hold my breath to avoid her deadly toxin. <laughs> her stench calls me green. Oh, she's got that coffee breath. Can't teach you the photo of mom in tea. Live it! Nothing goes right. It's enough to ruin my day. You said sorry. 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 And Barrel gives birth to a bullet. And she falls. As his smoke climbs achingly toward the heavens, whispering, Forgive me. His fingers stain with gunpowder. His face drains white as the child's screams get louder. Personal, global, global. Personal, global, global. Personal, local, global. Personal, local, global. This project, Shake the Dust, has unified every spoken word artist, poet, every literature development agency, every child in this country. Well, I walked into the Festival Village today and immediately what I saw was young people having the time of their lives. And I think that's a really important thing. It's obviously the celebration of poetry, spoken word and free speech, but within that you get the celebration of people, of young people. When I was on stage I said one word, lead. And I really strongly believe that the young people now are going to be so important, not just in this country, but in the whole world. Um, free speech changes the world. They can rewrite it, and that's what I saw today. The energy, enthusiasm, determination to change. They're all champions for getting up. I, I mean... What, you know, whatever we might hear on the, you know, the news and you know doom and gloom of economies and you know the bad of the news, when you see kids like that on stage, you realise the future is absolutely fantastic. Turning my veins into mere passageways of passage, another eye drop of gravel. It's just been a phenomenal two years of worth of, um, of a project coming together and today, this afternoon, the National Slam Final at the South Park Centre has just been exhilarating, life-affirming, exciting and really, really powerful and moving. Um, I think some of the content that the young people came up with in their poems, some of the themes that they tackled, some of the things that they talked about were extraordinarily mature and they just brought such amazing insights to it. All the stereotypes and things people think about young people, they don't listen to the news, they haven't got opinions, blah blah blah, they have. You know, we help them to edit their writing but their thoughts and their content and their passion is most definitely theirs.
So, as you can probably get a sense of behind me, darkness has fallen, but the energy is still very much here. We've been going for about four or five hours straight, something like that. My voice is starting to give way, and that's all from the joy and from the energy that's been kicking through this event. We've had the slam final, we've had team after team up on stage performing. They haven't had enough. I don't know if you're catching behind me. You can see a little cypher that's just broken down. The energy is just amazing in here, and it's all coming out through spoken word. Oh, I should tell you a little bit about the song. It's about uh, shooting stars coming down to Earth, and those shooting stars are supposed to represent love. This is my first time experiencing these shooting stars. I saw a star above me, and yet it was so lovely because it showed me to your soul. And now I know that you're the one for me. It feels like I died and went to heaven. My body's shaking and I can't help it. You helped me break down all these walls, and now I don't feel so lonely. If I never live this life again, if I told you to take my hand, if I would the people understand, and said I was on a journey to find out why love hurts, all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put you together. 